bitter flowers, boots, bow flower, capers, cow lily, cowslip, crazy bet, drum hearts, king's cup, meadow boots, soldier's buttons, water goggles, water boots, water going. These are just of the few names for Wildflower Wednesday here at the Lakeside Nature Challenge. Today's Wild Wednesday flower is the Marsh Marigold, but I kind of like some of those other names better. And it's a wild windy day. And this is what we call Marsh Marigold weather. It blooms before the leaves come out on the trees. And it grows in marshy areas where there's groundwater coming out of the ground, seep, like in fens and seeps. You can see there's really mushy land around here with the water coming out of the ground. And the marshmallow gold, they grow all the way from Alaska all the way down to Iowa is the southern part of their range. But even though they have a big range, they only grow in marshy spots like this with groundwater discharge. Let's take a closer look at this beautiful flower. It's in the buttercup family, which is characterized by having five petals. But here we are tricked because these aren't actually petals. These are called sepals. So the sepal is usually the out the last the outer layer of parts around the flower. And there's five. Their favorite number must be five. And in the center is the female part of the flower, the pistil, surrounded by the stamens, the male part of the flower. And the leaves are round kind of like little moons and they almost the bottom part of the leaves like almost overlap like a shawl or something and they're kind of flat on the surface which is a great way to capture all that sunlight and the stems this one's been bit off by some animal but you can see the stems are kind of fleshy and kind of have a groove in them and as the stems reach up to the top, they kind of divide into two for the flowers. So in most cases, the flowers are like twins off of each stem. So your challenge is to go out and find a new wildflower this week. And if you come to Lakeside Labs, see if you can find the 